Go. Hello, Fight Inside fans, viewers, listeners, guys. Okay, this is a momentous event. We've got a big, big guest coming in to uh, join us in Fight Inside today. Uh, we want to bring him in. I know he, he's got time crunched right now. So we want to introduce to you. Wait, how dare you? I have the intro. Our guest today has had 49 professional fights, 20 in the UFC, 33 wins. He's best knows he's best known for always smiling. He trains with the legend Dan Henderson out of Team Quest. He's the former MFC middleweight champion and a competitor on Tough Season 16. This Saturday, he returns to middleweight after a stint at light heavyweight to face Julian Marquez in Vegas on UFC on ABC2, Holland versus Vittori. Please welcome Smiling Sam Alvey. Ooh, what an oh. intro. My man, I got goosebumps. Oh, oh hey. man. Ooh. Sam, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful, my friends. Sorry oh. I'm late, but thank you for having me no. on. No worries. Thank you so much, Sam. I know you've been doing media day all day today, right? Yeah, man. It seems like all day, every day since since uh, fights announced. I, I love interviews, so I put myself out there for as, as often as I can. No, so smiling Sam, I'm telling you, when you pulled up, oh my gosh, I could faint right now, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, thank you for coming out. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, such an honor. You're actually, you know what, Sam, I'm just gonna let you know right now, you are our very, 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 very first UFC fighter on this podcast. You just yes. christened us. You just blessed us. So oh, thank I, you so I'm much. Honored, my friends. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. You've legitimized us, and. Yeah. Uh, I'm the Sam, first I, of many. First of many is what you get to say now. I wow. Hope so. I hope so. All righty. But Prince, before you ask the first question, Sam, I have to say, you are looking jacked. Like, <laughs> is this, th this is the new Sam Alvey? Like, you're looking, I, I noticed it in some of the videos lately. Like, you're looking like, you. I know you've gone down now back to middleweight, but boy. Man, like, y'all know all the right things to say to me. Oh, I'm going to blush. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, you know what it is? Is that when I, I've been up at 205 for the last three years, so I've been lifting constantly to become a 205er. Uh, and then, you know, the judges hate me, so I had to go back down. <laughs> but uh, I, I kept the size for the most part. It's just going to be, it'll be a bigger cut than I'm used to. But uh, yeah. I, I'm going to make it pretty easily, and I should be in the, so I make 186 in the octagon. I'll bet you I weigh 217 to 218. Wow. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Yeah. That's oh, a... I, I, so Sam, I, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you, so, so Sam, let me just ask you, so what cycle of steroids are you on now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I got all the ones you saw I was not tested for. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, Prince. You want to ask the first question? All right, Sam. So first question, I, I know you just came off a very, very strong performance against top prospect, uh, South Korea's Dong On Jung. Unfortunately, I know he came into a draw. I saw the fight, man. I saw the disappointment in, in your face. You're like, man, are you guys watching the right fight? Like, I won. And I thought you won, too. It made no sense. So, I mean, coming into this fight, the, like, has that changed? Has that affected your mindset at all coming into this uh, fight with Julian? Uh, you know, I, I I think my last two fights particularly, I, I thought I won the Span fight. And then the young yeah. – that and Young fight, I won that one. I don't care what anyone says. I won that fight. I've watched yep. it a thousand times. It was a good fight. Uh, it wasn't that close even. I won that fight. Uh, but like every fighter, I just complain about my losses. But what I do better than most other fighters is I try and correct course. And uh, this Saturday is that correction in my course. I, I am not losing this fight. I'm not even going to win boringly. Uh, I'm not going to win uh, a decision. I am going to smash him. This is going to be uh, Sam's making sure I stay in the UFC for a long, long time kind of fight. That's right. And, and Sam, you know what? I'm just saying this out there, bud. You are going to win via a raging bull butterfly punch. Oh, it's, I like it's, it. I like it's it. going to happen. It's a signature move I just made up for you. I feel like you're going to land it. You're going to set it up with a hook. It's looking like It looks like a Superman punch. You set it up with a hook, and you just come in with that ra raging bull punch straight to the jaw. Knockout, first round. Call it a day. All right, I like you should put money on that. You should put money on that. <laughs> money we is will. on that. You trust me. Trust me, Sam. It's gonna happen. All right. It's, can, it's, can, it's Canadian money, Sam, so it barely counts. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, really? Sam, I mean, you train with Dan Henderson and he's known for having the H bomb. But I feel like you've got the A bomb. Because -bomb. when you 
because when you touch people, like there are certain fighters and you are one of them and you're like one of the classics that it seems like when you touch people, they really get damaged. Like, have you always had that power like growing up? Like where, where does that come from? Yeah, you know, if you watch me fight, I, I'm not the most technical fighter. My footwork isn't all that great. My hands kind of go up and down. But one of the things I have better than almost everybody, except, shoot, my boxing coach says I hit harder than Dan Henderson. Mm. But, uh, and my boxing coach is his boxing coach, too. So <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I hit hard. It, it is. I don't know exactly what it is in me that, that did it, but uh, I, I hit hard. It's, it's, it's uh, as the Blues Brothers would say, a gift from god nice <laughs> it's it. just it's just one of those things um i did want to say you know for for those of our fans they're not all huge mma fans but for those that don't know your wife uh mickey sullivan she was the winner of cycle 11 of america's uh america's next top model mm -hmm. she's always in your corner and i know i was watching in some of the media scrums today you you made mention she's here to, she's here with you for this fight right yep yep she she's uh, She's only missed one fight. I've had over 70 fights, uh, and she's been there for all of them, except for the first COVID fight. Uh, our our foster oh. baby wasn't allowed out of the state. Yeah, and yeah. We weren't comfortable leaving leaving her with someone else, so she, she missed one fight out of 70. But that's other than that, she is, I mean, she takes the sport more serious than I do. I just hit really hard. Well, and congratulations, because I know you just adopted your fifth yes. child, right? So that's wonderful. Yes, congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank um, you. But in your last fight with Dion Jung, uh, I don't know, if, well, you said you've watched the fight. So the commentators are often very critical of people's corners, but both Cormier and John Anik gave a lot of praise to your wife, saying that she was giving great advice, that she was there, you know, and I've always noticed that over the years, like you're one of my favorite fighters and I, I always pay attention to what the corners say. She's very into what's going on in the fight. So how involved is she like in, in all your training and stuff? Because she seems to know exactly what you're looking for and exactly what you need to do. Well, I, you know, when I first started fighting, uh, she was in my corner because it was a free ticket. If she was a corner, it's a free ticket. <laughs> and nice. after that first fight, I mean, immediately she started studying everything. She yeah. Studied it all before I knew it. The only reason I train in Southern California is because of her. Uh, she outranks me in jujitsu. She's very likely going to be the one that gives me my black belt someday. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, she she kickboxes. Uh, I I'm calling it now. She's gonna bare knuckle box at Paige Van Zandt someday, and she's gonna win. Uh, is that is that real? Because I I see you've been saying that. Is that real? I want it to be real. We're ta I've I've talked to them a little bit about it, uh, but it's the licensing is we're trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. uh, she's over here and she, she's blushing right now. Uh, <laughs> can can but, you imagine uh, America's Next Top Model? Bare knuckle dancing boxer with the, champion with the dancing with the stars uh, pages on that. Yes, I, you couldn't have written this better. They'd meet at one twenty-five, and my wife would just, you know, wipe the floor with her. It would be yep. so much fun. <laughs> it would. It would be a. It would be a, a, a viewer's dream to watch that yes. happen. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Um, I, I. It is like my dream to make that happen. More than I want to fight, I want that fight to happen. Nice. Wow. Okay. So Sam, next question, but I, you know what? I want your honest opinion and none of this humble stuff. I want to see Sam, the cocky. What, what do you think is going to happen in this fight? I want you to say, you know what? Round per round, minute by minute. How is this fight with Julian going to happen? How is it going to go down? And I better hear some knockout submission that works. We want it all. Oh yes. Uh, I'll be real quick. We walk out there. I hit him once with your raging bull punch, and he falls over. Fight over. Oh. That happens the first ten seconds. If That's that it. Happen, he's just—he's gonna be behind me the whole fight. Uh, I—I—I'm faster than he is. I have a longer reach than he is, uh, than he has, uh, and, and I think I got a better chin than he does. I—it's I, a shame people know that because that means I've been hit. But I've been <laughs> hit. Uh, I've been hit by friggin' Dan Henderson and never went down. Uh, he has not been hit by Dan Henderson. He's not been hit by me. Uh, he, he's a he's a very worthy adversary, but yeah. uh, he's uh, he's going to be a step behind me. But it's going to be a fight of the night kind of fight. Yeah, you know, it you is. Know what? I honestly, so I studied that the Ong Jung fight that you had, and you clipped him with an uppercut. You came in and you clipped him with the upper. I, I swear, he stumbled right. a little bit. That was so. It was, yeah, sorry. I like he hit me with that elbow round three. I didn't know it was an elbow for like two days. Like I thought it was a cross. <laughs> and I kept watching it. And then DC said, wow, I think it was an elbow. I said, 
what? And so I watched it in slow motion. Like, holy shit, it was an elbow. <laughs> uh, he caught me clean. But right after that, you know, I got right back up. I countered. I I uppercutted him four times in a yes. row. Yes. So I, I, I'll, I'll, I won rounds one and two. Round three, I'll say I lost. But I still outstruck him. It was like 10 to one. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sam, honestly, I saw that uppercut. It was like a Mike Tyson uppercut. When you clipped on my swing, I go, go, go. I was, literally, I was about to throw a table right at the thing. Come on, man. Listen, <laughs> yeah. I honestly feel, Sam, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna land. Again, if it's not the Raging Butterfly Punch, it's going to be an uppercut to that man's jaw, and it's game over. Crisis is averted. Okay? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. You are going to take this win. You're going to take this win. And you heard it here. First win, round one, saw you, buddy. Trust me. We, we have that sheer confidence. All of Toronto, Canada, all of the Philippines, all my titos and titas, they are all going to come out and watch this fight, and we're going to be rooting for you, big guy. Hey, Trust I appreciate you. that. I could use it. You send all the good juju my way. <laughs> That's right, Sam. Before we let you go, just want to ask you one question. It's uh, the first event where we're going to see these Venom fight gear right? The Venom fight kits. And I saw on your Instagram, you did that cool post where you kind of like magically changed into all the different outfits. How do you like the stuff? I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Sam, I don't know where the heck to buy Venom clothing in Canada. I've never seen it in a store, but it looks cool as heck. What, yeah, what you are know, you, what are you thinking? It was really comfortable. Uh, the, the shirts were heavier duty than, uh, than Reebok was. The shorts, the shorts felt about the same, but they're shorter. The, they didn't go to the knee. They're like thigh highs. Uh, well, which is nice. I, I like that. I get to show off my legs a little bit. Uh, the, the the fighter bag I got was, was it, it had all new gear on it. The sweatshirts were real nice. Uh, the shoes are still real nice from Reebok. Uh, I, I I'm a fan of them. I think it I think it looks pretty cool. I very very professional. And Sam, nice. since you since you're an avid bodybuilder now, so you you, you know you got to show the legs and everything. Or you got to you got to see the double bicep. Can we see the double bicep? Or, or I got to hold the phone. Holy oh my. Oh, uh, uh, Sam, this is actually a kids' show too, so kids keep it really PG. That's <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Well, Sam, uh, when I told some of my friends that you might be coming on this podcast, they were in shock first of all, but they right away they said, "Tim, that's one of your like favorite fighters of all time." And I was like, "Yes, it is." I'm so glad that you came, Sam. Um, you know, we wish you all the best. We we are behind you 100%. You've been looking great your last few fights. I think this is a great fight for you. Um, is there anything that you want to say before you go, before we let you go? Uh, hit me up. Anyone watching this, you're millions of fans. I hope you all hit me up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram and all that. TikTok is, I have so much fun on TikTok. So you all should follow me there. Uh, and we'll have, we'll have some fun together. I'm very, very responsive to the fans. Yeah, you are. Thank you so much, Sam, for coming on. We love you. Uh, we will definitely follow you on TikTok, and we'll put your links on the bottom of our uh, YouTube video for you as well. All right, that sounds wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you All so right, much. Sam, Good get luck. that dub. Get that dub, big guy. Get that dub. Yes, That's sir. It. Yes, sir. Uh, Go hey, get him. We'll, we'll talk again, guys. Right, Thanks, buddy. Care. Have a good one. See ya. Bye. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, I cannot believe it. Oh my god. Okay, so to the people watching, we were waiting like 20 minutes past when he was supposed to show up and uh we were pretty much calling it saying, "Okay, shoot, he must have figured out that we're nobodies." And uh we sent him one last message and boom, he came in. I mean, Pure shock, Prince. Pure uh, shock. Tim, I don't know what else to tell you, man. Like, you, that was our first UFC fighter. Like, my heart's racing. Uh, what a nice guy. What a what solid a nice guy, guy, man. Like, listen, if I'm going to drive over, if, if, like, if it's a, some dumb decision that they, they end up swinging to the other yeah. guy, I'm driving down there and we're, we're fighting the judges. Like, that's, that's it's on. It's okay. on. He's gone now. <sighs> but seriously, did you see how he looked? He looks way more ripped than how he's looked. And like he said, he's been fighting at light heavyweight for a while. He he's always looks like a big guy, but here he's looking, like you said, he looks like a bodybuilder. Like he's a different Sam Alvey, man. I am yeah. very, I'm telling you, I am horrible at picking fights, but man, Sam Alvey. And he was talking in some other interviews. I didn't want to ask him the same questions everyone's asking him. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, had lost a few in a row. He had that very unfortunate split decision against Span, that the total robbery of a draw against the Daun Jung. Mm -hmm. um, 
he's he's winning this fight, man. I, I think he is way too motivated on this one, and uh, he's going to be you? he's going to be dangerous. Can I tell you, man? I am gonna watch. Like, I am just gonna sit there and just be glued to TV. And if I'm telling you, he will clip. If he clips him with that uppercut and that super that yeah. butterfly punch, but it's not even like a full uppercut, right? It's like he was throwing like almost like a shovel punch. Like I forget what you call it, but like a shovel uppercut or a shovel jab. Yeah, because um, it's, it's, it's not it's not coming from below. He's kind of like right from here, and he's kind of throwing it this way and catching you. But yeah. yeah very good he's he's a good striker man i love this guy and i cannot believe he came on so sam alvey thank you so much that is insane insane yeah. sam honestly you are our number one fans we are your number one podcast we we love you buddy we know you're gonna take this bad boy i'm telling you missile crisis averted done you know finish yeah. it off first round and you heard it here first and if it does not come out, we're going to post this all over. Oh, yeah, it's that podcast, that Fight Insight in Canada, Markham, that's on a lockdown that actually called it out. We called it out. Company uniforms. Oh, my God. Bam. Bam. All right, Prince. So, I, I mean, uh, we do want to tell the fans that I feel like we started our podcast all funny. But if you're watching this, please do subscribe to our YouTube. Hit the subscribe button down over there. Uh, if you're on Spotify, if you're on Instagram, please follow us, follow us wherever you can and definitely subscribe to us on YouTube, please. I would really greatly appreciate it and help us out a lot. Um, mm -hmm. We are going to change our podcast schedule. We were normally releasing every Tuesday. We're releasing this one on the Friday so that it can come out before the fights on Saturday. And from here on out, we're gonna go every Friday. This will enable us to be a little bit more timely, Prince, in, in terms of our podcast. We're going to record it that week and then release it right away on the Friday so that when fights happen on the Saturday, we'll be able to talk about them before. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. So, yeah, it's a different fight schedule. I mean, it's fight schedule, podcast schedule. Um, but, yeah, it, it, we're going to sh uh, show it every fr uh, Friday. Uh, if you, again, if you want to get uh, uh, be put on the show, if you want to be a part of the show, uh, you can email us at fightinsightpod at gmail.com. We, we have a lot more famous friends, though, so you might not make it. Yeah, so I'm just saying because uh, we just got Sam Alvey on and we just called out a fight and he's going to knock this guy out. And, yeah, yeah so what, what else? Right, GSP, all these guys are gonna suck come on BJ yeah. Penn. It's gonna be a whole slew of people. Like, and Tim, you, you heard it first. Remember when we first started this thing, the amount of people that are gonna be coming onto our guest list, it's gonna be through I the know. roof. We're I gonna know, need, we're gonna we might we, even need our own platform. There's gonna be Steam Stream Yard. There's our us is gonna be called Yard of Stream. All right. So we are going to talk about a few more fights uh, before we go today. So again, so we're releasing this on Friday, guys. Every Friday now, our podcast will drop. So uh, this Tuesday coming, you're going to expect a podcast. It's not going to be there. We're going to go every Friday now. Um, let's talk about a couple more fights, Prince. Uh, the first one I wanted to talk about happening on Saturday is Nina Ansarov uh, versus Mackenzie Dern. This is Nina Ansarov is Nunez's partner yep she just gave birth not yep. long ago yep uh to that cute cute baby that we were talking about before yep straw weight she's 10 and 6 she had won four fights in a row before losing to tatiana suarez uh in her last fight before she went off on maternity um she's a good fighter man a really good fighter tatiana suarez she's a, she's a beast so no shame in losing to her but nina ansaroff has some good wins under her belt She's going up against Mackenzie Dern, who's the, um, you know, uh, the next big thing. She's she's got quite the hype train around her. Whether yep. you like her or not, she's ten and one. Uh, she's on a three fight win streak. Uh, where do you see this one going, Prince? Man, like Nina's coming off. I mean, she's been off for a little bit, and then she's coming back and she's fighting fighting Mackenzie Dern, like Mackenzie's submission artist. Like you've seen yeah. the arm bar, arm bars that she's pulled. It's like unreal um and she's also a good striker too so man this is, is like a pretty, yeah i've seen her uh, i mean i've seen a couple of fights i mean she she can i mean she probably that's the thing um Anunes, we never knew that she was submission artist until she went in yeah, there, yeah, yeah. right? And we talked about it in that in the last uh, podcast. But like, with Mackenzie, I mean, she's you know who knows? Maybe she'll stand up toe to toe and just go at uh, Nina, right? So, uh, man, this is a tough fight to be coming out of uh, you know be coming out of a uh, long break 
to get into, but um, my my money's on the McKenzie hype train. Like, Ooh. like just I'm, I'm against you on this one, Prince. I think uh, I know I know we have it on one of our topics to talk about in a future podcasts about like favorite gyms and stuff like that. But what mm. I always notice is that like there'll be gyms that go on little streaks or mm. gyms that go on on bad like loss mm. runs, you know, mm. with with their fighters. Nunes and Nunes and uh, Nina being together, I feel like Nina is going to be riding on the Nunes hype and uh, not on the hype, but riding on her wave of of, of wins and wave of dominance. I feel like Nina is going to come back. Man, she looks pretty good in some of these videos that I've been seeing of her training, mm-hmm. and uh, she looks strong. And she's a she's a big straw weight and i feel like she's going to take out mckenzie i think she's going to take out mckenzie get back on the winning streak and uh make a run at the title and and i can you imagine if nina has the title along with nunas having two titles and then that couple has three women's championships under them that would be crazy cool man yeah well that's the thing i mean you'll have nunas that's going to be like you know that's going to be cornering you right yep. so i mean yeah i mean it's it's going to be an advantage of course you have nunas is like like an amazing per, uh fighter who's going to just tell you you know okay this is what you need to work on so what you need to do in the ring but at the end of the day it's going to be you against a monster like mckenzie's a monster that's right, right? yeah so, yeah. Well, all right. So we're split on that one, Mackenzie, uh, Mackenzie, and Nina. Uh, the next fight I want to talk about is uh, Da Eun Jung, the one that um, had the draw with Sam Alvey. He's. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Sam is on the main card, uh, just under the co-main. Da Eun Jung, who was on a, uh, he's on a third. He hasn't lost in thirteen fights. He had that. He had twelve wins in a row, and then had the draw with Sam Alvey. This kid is is super hyped up from South Korea. He's thirteen two and one. He's fighting on the, I think it's the fight pass prelims. Like he's way down on the card, uh, but he's fighting William Knight out of Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, he's from Dana White's Contender Series. Yeah. And Prince, I'm going to go on a little bit of a, on a tangent here. I met William Knight before he was on the Contender Series. I was in Hartford for work. I had a business trip down there, and I was down there for three nights, I think. Mm-hmm. And so anytime I go on a business trip, there's nothing to do at nighttime because you don't know anyone. You're just sitting in a hotel room by yourself. So I always look through, uh, I was going to say, look through the yellow pages. I look, I look, <laughs> through, I look through Google. How old I, are you, man? I'm super old. <laughs> I, look th- I look through Google and I look for an MMA gym in the city. And when I was in Hartford, I found this gym called Thornton Martial Arts. And, uh, I, I, you know, the hotel had like a shuttle service and I said, Hey, bring me over to this gym. And so they bring me around downtown Hartford. It's not like, uh, like the most friendly er- neighborhood area where the guy drops me off and he's like, you sure you want me to drop you off here? And really? Yeah. And it was like a, it was like a car. It looked like a car, um, like a, a muffler place or whatever. And it was kind of like around the back and like, there's really like no door. It was just like a, like a weird door in the back. And it said Thornton martial arts. And I walk in the nicest people in there, like that gym, man, if you're in Hartford and you're not going to Thornton martial arts, you are crazy. That gym is amazing. Great people there. Um, the coaches were so welcoming. They let me train there for a couple of days and in comes this guy and he looks like a monster. That guy is ripped to hell crazy big he had just fought an mma fight i think like that weekend and he was fighting another fight like in a couple of weeks yeah you could tell this guy was gonna be like on the train to start him mm. and nicest guy like very very friendly uh i got to train with him i remember when we were doing some jujitsu and stuff and he was like coming over and helping me learn the moves and whatever so great guy um trained there for a couple days only for a couple years later for me to see him on dana white's contender series yeah, yeah i think i think he was on twice won both his fights makes it into the ufc mm-hmm. and uh, i think he won his last fight and now here he is fighting dad and junk that is a crazy fight for him because if he can beat this kid uh that is a big fight so my pick i'm all for uh william knight man nightmare knight i'm behind this guy i've met him he's a nice guy i'm wishing him all the best um do you have any thoughts on this fight, Prince? I know I picked this one only because I know this guy. What do you expect, man? Sam fought uh, Dong Jung like Len. It was a draw. And you already know where loyalties lie. 
So okay. I am going to go with William Knight as well. Nine and one record is the current record right now is nine and one. Yeah. So well, I honestly think that, yeah, William's going to definitely uh, win this fight. And it's, yeah, it, it won't even go to decision. I think it's just going to, there's going to be another knockout. I'm hoping the card's actually a full knockout fest. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a lot of, a lot of, a lot of knockout fights looking like on this card. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I honestly, so, so for me, both of us, I guess this is the one thing that we have something agreed on. William Knight will take yep, that's for it. sure. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. And I have reached out to him and uh, his gym to see if they'll come on our podcast as well. Uh, so hopefully in the future that we will see uh, him or his coach uh, will come on. So Tim, uh, what are we, we going to do for the people that we picked against? Like we can't have them. We will, on. we will delete the, we will delete the podcast and never let them see it. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> we'll, uh, or we'll edit it, whatever. We'll do something. Um, Last fight we'll talk about is the main event. You've got Marvin Vittori. Uh, he is 16 and four on a four fight win streak. And he was set to take on Darren Till. Darren Till, yeah. And then Darren Till breaks his collarbone. And so in with, you know, within two weeks notice, who was just coming off of a loss, comes in Kevin Trailblazer Holland, who just lost that very confusing loss to Derek Brunson where Brunson, he was yeah. laughing the whole time kind of talking didn't seem to really understand he was losing the fight uh here he comes to save the day for main event on uh, on this uh event and he is 21 and 6 he was on a five fight win streak before losing to Derek Brunson in his last fight what do you think about this one prince uh honestly uh, what i think tim i mean if okay i mean it, i've got my money on vittori I am hoping he takes it because I mean it looks like he's a serious guy. He wants to climb up the ranks. He wants to he wants to win, and I mean he's determined, right? And he's a monster. He's a tank. Like look at the guy. Yeah. Um, and Holland, I mean, man, I hope you know maybe if he's looked back at that Bronson fight and just maybe just focus and not start talking to Khabib and the people outside of the ring and focused on the fight, yeah. he will win. Like, I mean, that's the thing. If he was focused at that fight, I think he would have, you know, he would have gone the distance and it, he may have won a decision or maybe clipped the guy at the very end. Um, but I, I think honestly with this fight, Vittori, I've got my money on Vittori. I think Vittori is going to take this fight. He's just gonna, you know, it's his wrestling too. His wrestling game is, is, is good. And so, and again, you, you, the, even the size difference you see the size difference between the two i mean yeah. again you, you've seen other fights where you know you israel iggy versus costa you see they're like oh my gosh cost so big and then and, and israel picked them off but with this i think vittori is just very well-rounded i think he's gonna he's gonna win this fight what do you think uh there's a lot of hate on our instagram not on our instagram but anytime i'm around on our instagram leaving comments elsewhere uh i am super down on Holland after that last fight. Like, I think he really mentally broke on that fight. I don't know what he was doing to the, to the point where he, um, you know, continued to talk and joke around going into the fourth round, the fifth round, you know, you've lost all three. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. You're not trying to win. People are like, no, no, that's fine. He'll, he'll turn it around, whatever. I watched an interview with him. I think it was this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were interviewing Holland going, well, what do you think? What do you think? And Holland's response was, he's like, hey, man, this is Vittori's main event. This is Vittori's main event. It's up to him what happens. This is Vittori's night. My my main event was a couple of weeks ago. This is Vittori's main event. Like, I don't know what that means, but he definitely isn't saying, like what Sam Alvey said to us today, coming off a decision, coming off a bad, uh, sorry, coming off a draw and coming off a bad split decision loss, where Sam Alvey is saying, look, I am taking this win. I'm not letting this crap happen again. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. And he's been saying that in every interview I see of him. Holland doesn't seem to have that mentality. Like he doesn't seem to be coming in and saying, I'm going to write the ship. I'm going to fix this. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start fighting and I'm going to start winning the fight. He's not saying that I am, I'm betting against him man. I'm saying Vittori is going to take this. I'm saying Vittori is very focused. His, his last loss Prince, you know what it was, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was. Oh, sorry. Holland. No. Vittori's last fight. Vittori. Oh, sorry. No. Who is his last fight? I'm, I'm... No, his last loss. Sorry. 
what did I say? His last loss was a split decision loss. Oh, yes, yes, with Israel. Israel. To Israel. So yes, like, yes. Okay, sorry, yes. You his, know what? Last, his last loss is a split decision to the champ and to peop, to who we are now calling one of the greatest of all time or to one of the pound-for-pound pound greatest. Mm -hmm. Vittori is this close, man, to getting that title shot, getting that redemption against Adesanya and possibly winning. Yeah, well, you know what? With that fight, uh, Vittori versus uh, Israel, I mean, it was such a close decision. Again, it was a split decision, and everyone thought like it was going to swing. And even even Israel's face when they were calling out the the decision, they're like, "Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I knew I won." And Vittori's like, oh, are, "Are you kidding me?" And everyone thought like he it was a dub, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, Vittori is going to come in here. He's got a statement to make. He's going to go at Holland. If Holland is not 100% keyed in and, you know, he, he focuses in there and he's not ready to get his guard up against this guy, I'm telling you, he will lose another fight again, right? Yeah. And yeah. Let, let me just ask you, Tim, are you picking fights on other IG pages? I'm leaving educated comments to educated, which, listen, Tim, it, to no which one, some people no, to which no. some people take extreme offense. Oh uh, man, no wonder we got all these people in the IG comments dropping all kinds of stuff <laughs> like all these hate mails. Come on, man. Yeah, we no, gotta be friendly. We're, we're we're Switzerland. We gotta be in between. Mm. So you're going there dropping making fun of Holland. What if he come you know what? Not what making fun of him. Not making fun. I'm just saying, hey, you know, as a student of Mark Bowden, I was seeing a lot of stuff. In his interviews just the the way he's speaking what he's talking about i just not a fan man like i love the guy before that brunson fight i was i was the biggest trailblazer fan and and i was on that hype train and the guy was the fighter of the year last year for for going five fights in the year and all that very active entertaining whatever but that brunson fight was a disaster i'm also saying i'm this is what people get mad at me saying if he loses this fight in a mm. bad manner if he doesn't perform well, or if he, not just if he loses, but if he does not perform well, I say this guy's getting cut. What, and really? Yeah. I don't care that the guy comes in and saves the main event. I'm saying that if this guy puts on a poor performance and loses, I don't think Uncle Dana lets this guy embarrass himself in the Brunson fight and then come in here, sign the paper saying, I will fight your main event only to look shoddy. I think I think Dana's got too much writing on I think Dana's got too much writing on fighters that he can't have people putting up poor performances. We've seen people get cut for less. I think this guy's job is on the line if he does not perform. Doesn't have to win, but he has to perform. Oh my gosh, it's a little harsh, eh, Tim? That's hey man, that I'm that's that's my stance. I I, um, I think so. And plus, I mean, you've seen his highlight reel. Like, he's knocked out a lot of good guys. Like, and plus, some of his highlight reels is unreal, right? I mean, some of yeah. them, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you know what? Again, like, unless he's he's gonna he's gonna have a problem and i think vittori's not gonna be in there because with brunson the brunson fight like brunson was like you know he, he was chirping back too right and even in the way and if you saw if you saw in the way in like they, they were chatting at each other talking like it was Brun brunson and him yeah they were yeah, actually brunson, engaging yeah. yeah they were actually talking and you know they're engaging i think vittori he knows he's like no I'm, I need to make a statement. Yeah. I need yeah. to be, show people that I'm going to take a dub and he's going to go in there and he's just going to try and take him out from probably the first round. Like he's not going to, he's got a goal in his mind and he's set for it. Right. So, yeah. um, Holland, man, like I just hope it's not again, not a yeah fest, right? We do no, hear it, it, it. Prince, it won't be, it won't be. And, and again, for those of you that haven't, and I, I've already said this, but for those of you that haven't watched our, our podcast with, uh, Mark Bowden, go back and watch that one because when we talked about mirroring, right, that's where Vittori is not falling into that trap, right? When when Holland's chit chatty, chit chatty, Vittori is not mirroring that and starting to chit chat back. Vittori is maintaining dominance and he's staying true to what how his character is. Like he's not falling for that trap and trying to trying to get into the chitty chat and the laughing and stuff like that. He's staying firm, right? Like, yeah, I think Vittori is a true professional. I think he's going to get it done. And, yeah. I, and I th and I think Holland has to be very careful. So, um, Prince, I am riding a super high that Sam Alvey showed up on our podcast. You don't? Oh, I mean, my God! Can I tell you something, yeah. that, Tim? Like, I am like so wired. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. <laughs> like, 
Guys, no. so if anyone's watching this right now, it's it's 11.58. We're all past our bedtime. We're usually done our podcast by like 9 and we're, we're, we're good to go. And, and asleep by 9.30. Asleep by 9.30. Usually uh, maybe a Call of Duty game here and there just to yeah. get to take another L. Um, but like, you know, again, 11.59, I am wide awake. But again, you know what, to listen before we, uh, you know, before we say bye. So again, so we are picking. So for Nina versus McKenzie, I'm picking McKenzie. You're split. picking split. I got, I got Nina. Yeah. You got Nina. William uh, Knight versus the Ung Jung. We're both picking William Knight. Both picking William Knight. That's it, because our alliances uh, lie with our, our other guy, right, Sam Alvey. Well, um, and my alliances lie with Hartford. So and your alliances with yeah. Hartford. Yep, there you go. And uh, and also the gym that you went to at Hartford, you give them a quick shout Thor- out. Thornton Martial Arts. Yeah, you We're gonna, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to get them on this podcast, Prince. We, we get them on because we know what if they're nice guys, and if you're saying that the type of gym that they have is like the Apollo Creed, the Creed Two type of uh, gym where you walk in and it's arms are heavy, knees weak, you know, all that stuff, then we're definitely gonna have to check that place out. And number yeah. three, Holland versus Vittoria, the main event. Who do you think is gonna take it? Vittoria. I also pick Vittoria. So yeah, yeah, so those are our picks. And the most important fight of the night, Sam Alvey. Person versus Julian Marquez. I am Tim. Obviously, I'm, Tim. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so I don't even care about the main event. All I care about is that Sam Alvey fight, and Sam Alvey is going to take this fight. He's going to yeah. missile crisis averted. <laughs> All right, that's the name of the podcast, by the way. Yeah, that, that's what the name of the episode. I mean, yeah. Oh man! Missile All right, crisis averted. Got it, uh, guys. Again, we are going Fridays now with our podcast, so stay tuned for every Friday will be our regular drop. Uh, if you want one of these awesome shirts, please just message us, uh, message us on Instagram or uh, send us an email to fightinsightpod at gmail.com. Uh, what else, Prince? Uh, yeah, and also we will be taking orders for these shirts. That's what I just Shirt. said. Oh, sorry, my bad. I just, you know, I just thought, okay, so yeah, again, uh, my bad. I'm just. Are you serious? I, my, you know what it is? Is a Sam? I just, I've, I've, I've got the yeah, 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 okay, replay right, in my right. head. Yeah, yeah. But yes, yeah, so again, uh, and also other merch. We will be coming out with other merch as well. Yeah. Uh, hoodies, hats, all this good stuff. We will be selling this stuff. So guys, we, a lot of good stuff. And also, I think we maybe next podcast they'll have to see. You know what we're talking about. Do I want to do it right now though to play us out? Okay, let's go. Are you serious? Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, guys. Uh, so wait. So what are we supposed to do now? Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, guys. And presenting. Hold on, hold on. I don't have my thing. Okay, let's Give go. Let's second. go. I gotta be perfect. I need this. Tim, come on. You got your thing. I've got my thing from time, man. Listen. All right, guys. Have a good one. Uh, enjoy the fights. Uh, We hope you enjoyed this podcast. Again, please do subscribe to us. Subscribe on Instagram. uh, Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Please, please, please tell your friends. Steal your girlfriend's phone and subscribe on there too so we can get double the subscribers. Prince, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. I messed it up. Hold on. It's Timmy B, Chrissy D, fight in sight, yeah.